At this point, I think it's finally about time that YouTube step up and just get rid of the comment section across the entire platform. Well, it's been harsh. Listen, I'm sorry, Ralph. I made the mistake of looking at the comments from our last video, and some of them are so negative that I don't think I can stand here and record the video we were going to record today about those you know, YouTube secrets that get you a million views overnight. All right, done, done. Let's not go overboard here. Yes, you can remove the comments from your videos at a master level on your channel. But if you did that, you'd be missing out on all of the positivity and the motivation you'll find from the majority of people commenting on your videos. So let's try and deal with this negativity practically. I, I like this idea. Okay, so forget the YouTube secret, billion views, whatever. Let's focus on negative comments. And let's ask everybody this. How many comments do you tend to get on a typical video? Yeah, because we get around about a thousand comments per video. So we have what we'd say is a moderate amount of experience in dealing with negativity. And so let's do that right now. So speaking of a billion views, do you like Mr. Beast? Now that is probably a trigger word one way or the other. The majority of you probably like Mr. Beast, but here's the thing. Some of you do not like Mr. Beast. And in the democracy that is YouTube, that's absolutely fine. You as a creator cannot and should not try to please everyone all of the time. So hypothetically speaking, you've asked the question to your viewers to enlist some comments. Do you like Mr. Beast? And let's say 20% of your audience definitely does not, and they've decided now to invade your comment section and explain their very negative reasons as to why they do not like Mr. Beast. Now we're gonna talk about how to deal with that in just a second, but Rob, first we should probably ask ourselves, why should we deal with it? Should we even look in our comment section in the first place? Crucially, the comments of your videos build your community. And on top of that, as you're finding out what your audience likes about your videos, it'll give you content ideas. And furthermore, it's another positive signal for YouTube's engagement metrics, which may influence if YouTube shares that content with more like-minded viewers. All right, great. So we have our reasoning. Now let's clean up our hypothetical comment section. So the worst type of comments you're going to encounter within your videos are trolls. <laughs> right, and I believe that a lot of people probably get a sixth sense for trolling pretty quickly as they get into their YouTube journey. But how you can basically identify someone who's just there to cause trouble is that they're just being inherently negative. The comment seems to kind of come out of nowhere. And you know, when you look at it, there's really no good way to respond. Inherently, trolls are usually bored, trying to seek attention. And by you engaging them, you're feeding that trollish appetite, which is the last thing you want to do. If you want to know how to react to these, my advice has always been don't. If you're struggling to come up with anything constructive or positive to say, it's best not to stoop to their level. Yeah, it's usually a black or white approach here, Dan. And there are a couple of tools uh, within YouTube channel management pages that can help you. Uh, first of all, you can simply hide the viewer from your channel in that they can still comment, but no one on your channel is going to see those comments. You need to take it to the next level. You can increase the strictness of your comments uh, through holding inappropriate comments. And that's done in the channel default settings. And there's also blocked words. For example, here at vidIQ, we get a lot of comments that include sub for sub, sub to my channel, can I get an audit? And those are words and phrases that we literally add to our block section. So we just don't see those comments because they're not helpful to anyone. So that kind of covers the comments that we should get rid of on our channel so that our yep. communities are happy, thriving places. But we need to talk about comments that we maybe shouldn't be so quick to ignore or delete. Because in a lot of seemingly negative comments, there can be a lot of nuance and people have the best of intentions and they want to see you do well and grow as a creator, but they just come off in a certain kind of way that makes you kind of take a step back and go, is this person trolling or, you know, are they, are they being sincere right now? Yeah, Dan, I agree. It's crucial not to overreact. You know, take a step back and try and consider where the commentary is coming from. What is their intent? It's important to remember that a lot of people have a certain way of communicating. Some people just have social anxiety, which makes it a bit challenging. And then sometimes there's people who are maybe starting to learn English as a second language. And in some cases, they can tend to come off very direct. And there is a big thing that you all miss out on through comments, and that is body language. Some studies say that a large percentage of communication is not through what is said, but how it's said. 
And you don't always get that in the comments. Unless, of course, you want to communicate through the power of emojis. Go on, do your worst. A good way to approach the comment section in your videos or your entire channel is to treat it as a business and treat you as the CEO and primary representative of that business. Whether a comment is positive or negative, it's still a comment. And the person who wrote it took time to write it and they have some level of care in the content that you're making. The universal currency of YouTube is time. And we really appreciate the time you're taking to watch this video. And we appreciate further the time you take to write a comment. Respect that time and give the audience your time when you're reading and replying to comments. This is why you need to defeat negativity as a creator. It's because the comment section is where your community is born. It's where people come together in the traditions, rituals, and shared beliefs of the content you make. Right, so while it's easier said than done, it's very important to try and focus on the very positive comments you get rather than letting one negative comment bring you down. But this honestly takes practice and time and it will get easier as you continue to create content and build that thick YouTuber skin. The goal of your content is to change the way the viewer thinks in a meaningful and positive way. And the evidence of that is in your comments. Those are the people you should be focusing your positive energy on. Negativity will drain your time, your energy and your confidence if you allow it to. Why would anybody voluntarily want to do that? So now we've got all of this negativity out of the way, let's get back to getting a billion views with Mr. Beast. And the first tip, don't let comments destroy your channel in the same way that these 13 myths could destroy your channel if you don't click on this video next. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.